Last Friday night, Elmira said, you know what, we've got a lot in the tank. The Express football team dominated state-ranked Vestal. Thanks in large part to our player of the week, senior running back Jerry McPeak, was gone Friday night, scoring five touchdowns in the 44-6 win at Vestal. The Ernie Davis Award winner even had a pick six for a touchdown in a game which many were saying Elmira they would have trouble with. Well, that did not happen at all. The Express will host UE on Saturday. They now stand at 2-1 in 2014. Congrats to Jerry on getting the WNY TV Sports Player of the Week. Out of the college ranks, the Ithaca Bombers starting off strong, real strong. After Saturday's big win over Hartwick, the Empire 8 is being put on notice. Ithaca rolled over Hartwick 42-7 at Butterfield Stadium, improving to 2-0 on the season. The Bombers, get this, outgained Hartwick by nearly 200 yards. That number, 509-312, to not bad at all. Next up, at Alfred on Saturday, and for IC head coach Mike Welsh, Ithaca needs to stick together for success need to have a great cohesiveness uh, with with your whole football team offense and defense and you saw our defense it really didn't matter what we were doing offensively whether we were scoring or whether we had we had some unfortunate turnovers they just came and played harder and played well and it's almost here the final week in major league baseball for yankee legend Derek jeter tonight begins jeter's final four game home stretch against the O's of Baltimore with his last home game at Yankee Stadium Thursday night. Sunday at Boston will be his last game ever versus those old rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Box seat tickets going for as much as $35,000 a piece on some websites. Yeah, wow. It's sure to be Hall of Famer. We'll keep tabs on Jeter all week long.